Are my teeth okay? Sometimes I'm editing and I see something in my nose. Taking slow. Hi guys! My name is Molly. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. I'm so excited to unpack my experience learning French for six months every day. This video is for anyone who's trying to learn a language or a new skill. I'll be sharing my journey for the past six months learning French every day and share my experience on staying motivated and how just a little daily effort can completely reshape your reality. I know it sounds dramatic, but that's really how I feel. And I hope this video will motivate you to start or continue on your journey. What has changed? How far have I come? English is still rusty. I'm so excited to cover it in this video and I am sure you're gonna take something for yourself from it. Make sure you watch till the end so you can hear all of the ways I approached it and how you can maybe implement it in your life with anything that you always wanted to start. It doesn't necessarily have to be a language. Let's start with my reasons. Why did I even want to learn French in the first place? I think French has been my first language that I actually wanted to learn and I didn't learn just because it came into my life somehow. And I remember even when I was 17 I bought like a year program I think it's bubble uh, language app where you can learn French and I remember I started it for a week or something and I stopped doing it just because it was so boring I wasn't concentrated enough French was a sort of a dream for me and I always romanticized this culture I always romanticized French language and in a very surface sort of way I don't know a lot about France one day I downloaded an app Duolingo and started just doing little lessons of French and it's so funny because my first day learning French, I actually uploaded my daily routine on my YouTube channel. I just think it's funny that you guys were there when I first opened the app and started just tackling French without overthinking what I'm gonna do, where I'm gonna go to learn it, who I'm gonna talk to. I just downloaded the app and that's how it started. One of my main goals for learning French that were immediate goals it was to read Harry Potter. I know it might be childish, but Harry Potter helped me to learn English when I started English. Harry Potter was also very, very helpful for me to learn German and build my vocabulary. Harry Potter has been like a very familiar story that's not heavy and that helped me to approach languages. And I was thinking, how cool is it gonna be if I am going to experience those same stories, but in French, even though it's the same story, it just feels so different because the experience of the language is different. So I was so motivated to read and listen to Harry Potter in French. I actually find Harry Potter being a very good series of books to learn language with because they adapt to the reader as the reader grows. So the first book is written for 10, 11 year olds and the language is pretty simple, it's straightforward. And the last book is for young adults and it's pretty serious. So I really love the growth of language that's happening in the book. That's just my personal motivation and I'm glad I can share that with you guys. I just started doing Duolingo every day. Honestly, as much as that. And it was really fun. It was very interactive. I really enjoyed Duolingo in the beginning especially and I was listening to audio parts There's also little stories that you could do and sometimes it would be like five minutes Just one lesson just to get my daily streak But sometimes it would be many hours just to actually learn and submerge in learning I didn't want to make it stressful at all and slowly I started also tapping into YouTube materials What I really enjoyed is watching polyglots on YouTube that talk about their experience learning languages They talk about motivations and all sorts of approaches to learn languages. I found this amazing, amazing human being. His name is Steve Kaufman. He helped me so much with daily motivation. Right now, I watch him more than ever. I find his videos more and more useful the more I learn. I think that keeps me marinated in juice of people being passionate about learning every day. And when I had like free minutes, sometimes I would watch something in French, like cartoons. There is also one series called Extra, and they do this series for people who are trying to learn a language, and they're doing it in different languages. I watched the series when I was learning English, I was watching this series when I was learning German. I now could watch it in French and learn French with those series. When I was cooking, I was always turning on vintage French music. It's such a vibe. I fell in love with French music and I found so much good French music. Or when I just have a minute to just relax before bed, I watch something like a cartoon in French or something, something casual. Yeah, that was kind of my attitude for about a three month, four month. I remember one month where I was doing minimal effort. I had so much work, but I was doing it daily. Nevertheless, 
nevertheless, which I think is the most important part for me. I signed up for a month of learning French in a little town called Chicurimi in Canada. One of the official languages is French, so there's a program that allows people who live in Canada or students who study in Canada submerge themselves in French for a month. You sign a contract where you can only speak French for that month and you take lessons according to your level. I was very intense with my French learning before the program because I was so motivated to advance as much as possible by myself before I go to the program so I can practice it as much as I can with the skills that I acquired. I got into the program and when I arrived there, I was living with roommates and I've heard that, you know, no one really takes the contract seriously where you sign it and you only speak French. Honestly, no one really does it. So I just came there with no expectations. I came there to just take what I can. Even if I don't learn anything at the program, I will be learning it by myself. I got very, very lucky with my roommates. They all were very serious about learning French and we agreed on the first day that at least between us roommates we always speak French after we sign the contract. And I was like, wow, I didn't even expect that, but I'm super down even though my French speaking skills were zero. I knew some words, I knew some sentences, but bringing it out vocally is completely different thing. So I agreed to something very challenging, but gladly. Also, my roommates were advanced intermediate levels, so I just walked behind them and just listened to them the whole time. I couldn't talk to anyone properly. I just could just ask general questions. It was really hard, but I made a deal with myself to be comfortable at being uncomfortable. And I was just listening the whole time. I tried to speak sometimes when I could, where I saw that the person, you know, is open to listening to my slow formulation of thoughts. And there was also classes. To be honest, I found it pretty easy most of the time, pretty slow too. But I'd rather go to my room and learn French by myself. That's what I was thinking. But sometimes we would touch upon uh, basics and grammar that I already learned just to repeat some certain things was very helpful and yeah I made some friends in my class which was really amazing because we were the same level when we first came to the program in the beginning of the month and uh, one of my friends Emily shout out Emily how are you girl we couldn't speak to each other in the beginning of the program we were literally just staring at each other, asking some basic questions and awkwardly smiling and by the end of our trip we were talking we were talking some life mysteries, philosophy, and that was pretty, pretty amazing feeling to be able to communicate, just seeing each other growth, celebrating each other for how much work we have done. Such an amazing feeling. And one of the most memorable moments for me in learning languages is when I interact with other people and how amazing it is to just come out of my body for a second and just see myself speak to someone in a language I didn't know a few months ago or a year ago. I would see myself joke with people and understand my friends' jokes. And I remember I had that feeling in German when I first started learning German. We joked and we shared who we really are once we got comfortable with the language. And this is such an addicting feeling, feeling that gives you so much confidence. And before I went to the program, I actually couldn't help myself. Even though I knew I wasn't ready, I ordered something off Amazon. It was sort of a little motivation for me. I opened it and I was like, hmm, gibberish. And then I closed it. Okay, I'm not ready. I opened it two weeks later and it was a little bit more clear, which is amazing how like I can recognize some things. And I just put it away because I knew I wasn't ready. And at the program, I started reading it and so many words I wouldn't understand, but there was no point to translate everything. I would translate some keywords and they would help me to understand the meaning. And because I know the story, I could kind of guess the meaning. And it's a Latin language, you know, it's not that complicated if you know English. Uh, a lot of the things I could kind of guess. And when I was in quarantine, when I had COVID in the program, I read so much just because I couldn't really go out. And one of the first things I did after I came out of quarantine in this program, I went to the city. In about a second one. I know they're super thin and little, but finishing them meant the world to me and reading them meant the world to me because that was literally my goal with French. Every time I would read in French, like the Harry Potter books, it was like all the mental energy is going in there because it's, it's a lot, you know, you have to really concentrate. One of the best things in the program as well, that it gave me space to fail so hard. Failures every day. Failures at the class when you say things wrong in front of everyone. Failures in conversations. Failures in talking to someone who you like as a person and you can't talk to them because, you know, they're way better in French. They don't have the patience. I got so comfortable with being bad and I think that's something that I really appreciated about language learning because it really humbles you. I remember in the beginning I was hanging out with people who were advanced in their French and I was just listening, understanding, but I couldn't really talk. 
and by the end of the program we went to the bar we went to have fun and i was listening at first too it's my habit and then i was asking them questions i think that was my second stage of talking is to make the other person talk with my questions learning how to ask questions and then i started sharing a little bit about myself oh it was so intense i love it it was the best learning experience ever and i know lessons are not for everyone and to be honest classes weren't for me as well but the fact that i got to meet people because my intention was to learn i think i attracted a lot of people who were passionate about learning French, who were passionate about speaking French, even if I would be really good in French by myself in my room where I would read and listen, speaking is a completely different thing. So I think for talking, it was such a good practice, such a great opportunity. So I'm really grateful for that. I understand not everyone has such opportunity to practice French so soon in their journey. And to be honest, I don't think it was necessary for me to go and practice French in my first half a year. I learned from Steve Kaufman, first steps are to learn to listen, to read and speaking comes a bit later, but I think I tapped into it pretty early, which was amazing experience for me. And I think it made me elevate my French game so much. I felt like my brain was taken out, dipped into a French bucket and then put back and it's wet now, wet with French. I'm sponging it slowly, the liquids of French. It's a weird metaphor. I felt like I had a college experience and never went to college or like university. So it was really cool to party a little bit, but also like party in French. Oh my God, this was the most productive partying I've ever done. I came home from this program filled with confidence from the fact that I can interact with people. And at the same time, sometimes I would think, oh, I'm so cool. I can speak French to people. And then I go to a grocery store. They know how to humble you. They just say something at the grocery store in the cashier area and you're like, yep, I still don't know French. <laughs> While I was in French part of Canada, I was trying to take advantage of bookshops there and thrift stores because my goal was to find the full collection of Harry Potter in French so I could read it because ordering it online is kind of expensive. I bought this one off Amazon, the first one, because I couldn't help myself before I went to the program. And then I bought the second one in the bookstore for the full price because I was desperate because I finished this one and I really needed the second one. And then I started my hunt, my thrift store hunt. I found the third one, which is a beautiful old cover. I'm reading it right now. Ah! The more I read, the faster I gulp the vocabulary that I don't know. Like I don't know some, some words and they come to me faster. If I don't want to, I don't have to read with translating some words. I can, that's helpful to translate some words that I'm really not familiar with, but I can really go through it and understand what they're talking about and just enjoy the fluidity of the reading. Then, then I went to, these guys are heavy, but a fourth one. I got it in Montreal. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just like too excited for this. I just, you know, it's, that's what I'm trying to translate with this video. The passion, the passion, so uh, enjoy. <laughs> so I got the fourth one, I got the fifth one, Order of Phoenix, and I got the sixth one, Half-Blood Prince. And I, the only one that I'm missing is the last one, but it's okay because you know, it's one of the most harder ones. I think this is enough for now. So even though I don't have the last book, I'm sure I'll get it when it's time, but this is a good start. I think this is an amazing start. Oh, I'm so excited. So yes, this is where I'm at right now, six months later. Life is amazing. Like I said, it's been one of the most wonderful experiences in my life. Knowing a little bit of French opened up so much to me. I have been exploring the world through French and it doesn't really stop at the skill of knowing French. This is just something I use to explore, something I use to view through. So I have this lens of French that is not super advanced, but it's a start and I'm using it to explore the world and... Oh, oui, merci beaucoup. Oui, mon croissant? Yes, I am just so proud of myself. I'm just so happy to do it every day, to learn every day. And if you have something in your life, like a language, like learning an instrument, anything, anything that you always wanted to put more time into, learn, just start doing it. It's the hardest part to start. Set yourself a goal that's fun, a goal that you feel passionate about. No pressure, no anxiety, just have fun with it. And through yoga, through learning languages, I just understand how much can change with the daily effort. And I'm not just talking about the skill that you acquire. I'm just talking in general. I feel like your life shapes with your daily actions. Your life shapes towards what you uh, want it to be. 
if your daily actions are your choices, if your daily actions are something you want to do, not something you do just because it's there, it's just because you're being pushed towards that. If you are putting daily efforts into building your reality that you want, it will gravitate towards you. And it just all starts with daily effort. I just want to throw this out there just in case maybe, maybe there's someone who's watching right now who is French. Hi. I'm just looking for a talking buddy if you maybe learn a little bit of English or German or Russian That's my arsenal right now. I would love to practice French with someone I'd love to practice with someone if anyone is down to talk to me in French if you're out there Can't wait to meet you. Thank you so much. I love you all so much and I wish you a happy 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 day See you next one I'm telling you, I quit coffee and I have energy now. That's kind of crazy. <laughs>